It's Monster Hunter, y'all. Is it? This is this is the new game, Monster Hunter Y'all. Monster Hunter Y'all. That's uh. Yeah. I would uh, I would probably be more likely to play a Monster Hunter game if it were actually called Monster Hunter Y'all. It's, it's Monster Hunter time. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so Brad, this is the new slime all over console. It. Yes. Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter World. Yeah. yeah. PS4 and I think also Xbox. So yeah. It seems like they were bringing it everywhere, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. Um, uh, Jason and I went to play this after Capcom uh -huh. last week. Purveyors of Monster Hunter. Hunter. Yes. Uh, the Monster Hunter people. Yes. Jason's out. Yes. Dealing with kidney stones, which I understand are a far more fearsome challenge than any giant dinosaur. Uh, yeah, and there's no like lady that'll pop up and say like, "Let's do the quest." <laughs> here's here's your little cat friend that's going to help stones. you out with those. Yeah. Um, uh, but this is this is his footage. This is him playing. Uh huh. Uh, I'm Hunter One. Okay. So keep an eye out for my incredible performance. Expert. Yes. Monster Actually, hunting. Actually, I feel pretty good about what we okay. did. Uh, this is on a so it was on a PS4 Pro debug that we were playing on. Okay. Uh, that's that's what this footage is from. Yeah. Um, and so the the thing uh, I think. When they first announced this game, is I think there were some people that thought that like, oh, are they making like dramatic changes to Monster Hunter? And then you guys seem to come out of this saying like, no, they're, they're this is still a Monster Hunter. Definitely. Game. Like, I mean, they're like not, I, they're I, not I, oversimplifying it or, or something, right? Full full disclosure. My whoa, this just jumps around a little yeah. bit, I guess, because uh, we can only take twenty minutes of footage. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, like full disclosure, I've probably got like collectively eight-ish hours across multiple Monster Hunters. Right. Lifetime to date. Uh -huh. So that's my expertise with the series. That's more than almost anyone I know. <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, but between what I have played and yeah, talking to Jason a lot, like like broadly, this is this is effing Monster Hunter, man. Yeah. Like uh, the, you, you pick up quests at your camp, you go out, you hunt the monsters that the quests tell you to, you carve them up into parts, mm -hmm. you go back and craft armor out of those parts, and right. then you do the whole thing over again. Yeah. Um, and it seems like you have a guide now. This, yeah. this the handler. Yeah, this lady. So yeah, like Jason pointed out, a lot of kind of like quality of life improvements that they've made. Yeah, right. this, this lady is always yapping at you about what to do, which and I found pretty helpful. And this seems like uh, very almost like tutorial like in nature. In yeah, a lot of this, cases. I think this is the first map, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Like, we just loaded into this off the debug menu, but I think this is pretty early in the game. Okay. Um, yeah, so she's constantly telling you how stuff works. That's helpful. Okay, uh, so it's okay. This is straight up tutorial stuff. Like, hey, here's how to focus the camera. I think so. Pretty sure. Not just like, hey, you should fight the monster. Well, I'm a lady in the I, world. Hopefully, hopefully, she's not doing that the whole time. Um, right. Yeah. But you know, when it when it gets down to it, it's a lot of this. Uh huh. It's locking on and you know, banging on a monster. Picking a weapon set. Yeah. And uh, like that's the. The monster hunter thing is that the weapon sets make very dramatic totally, changes totally. to the way you approach like, the situation. That's right? the thing. The thing people have said to me was that like every weapon in a monster hunter game is practically its own game. Right. Uh, that that definitely seems to be the case here. I only tried out. Uh, that's me with these two kind of fast blades on hunter one. Yeah. Um, those things have a demon mode that makes them like attack way faster, but it also whittles down your weapon durability way faster. Oh, all right. Because uh, you have to pop out a weapon or uh, pop out of fights and, and sharpen up your weapon mm -hmm. time to time. Um, the whole thing, like you can see this radial menu here, like the whole thing just felt easier to play for me. Like you've got you've got quick use items there. Uh, you've got those little green fireflies that lead you around the map. They'll get they'll like, kind of show you like, hey, here's the the path you should be going probably on. Probably see some here in a minute. Uh, maybe we didn't have a waypoint set here. Yeah, there they are. See those? Yeah. So you can. Uh, I found this like incredibly helpful. You can go in the map and actually set a waypoint on like anything in the world. Mm -hmm. so you can set a waypoint on the monster you're hunting. You can set a waypoint on one of your teammates, and it will just dynamically move around the map. Okay. And yeah. those, fireflies those fireflies will, will guide yeah, you. just fly. Yeah. And they're uh, they're super like aware of the terrain, so they'll fly up like vines you can climb on, or up around oh, different, got it. different twisty paths and yeah. stuff. So like you literally just have to follow those things to where you're going. Like it actually takes a lot of the guesswork out of the. Mm -hmm. The exploration. Now I see here uh, this this thing off to the side. I'm out of the monster. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Did you have to push a button? I never to quite, join in on the awesome. I never quite figured out how. Or was that works. automatic? I, you mean like get like mounting the monster? Like getting? No, no, no. Or? Like like the the communication stuff there. Oh, oh. Uh, like did, you know because it showed you as replying awesome. Sure. As Hunter One, so I, I, I'm I wondering if that's I, automatic or not. I definitely meant to do that. I, yeah, I have no idea. How that okay. Happened. All right. There are a bunch of emotes. I mean, there are a bunch of like emote animations, and I'm sure some other. Like hand response type stuff. Okay. I don't remember doing that at all. Huh. That may that may very well have been automated. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, that dude's got a rocket launcher or something. Yeah. Uh, I didn't play any of the ranged stuff, but they they tried to make it sound like the ranged classes or weapons are a lot more approachable in this one. Mm. 
I like you can move while shooting now. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal, yeah, apparently. Yeah, sure. Uh, it sounds like a lot of the ranged weapons in the past were very much, you had to like plant in the ground right. and kind of like turret it up. Uh, so they've made it more like a third person shooter now. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a lot easier to play, you know? Yeah. Better controller, bigger screen, like I just, I can't stand, like I'm interested in these games, but I just can't stand playing them on a 3DS. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, G games that I'm going to invest tons of hours in. Well, specifically because, like, Sometimes know, the smaller screen can be a hindrance. It's, I mean, it's uh, more than that for me. Like, it plays like a Dark Souls-type game, you know? I mean, oh, sure, granted, yeah. Monster Hunter predates Dark Souls it by a lot. It definitely does. But I mean, that's my point of reference anyway. But, like, right. you know, like, you, the, the animations have priority. Like, it takes forever to attack. Stamina meters. Uh, stamina is prevent, a thing. Yeah. Like, you got to dodge shit like that. Mm -hmm. uh, or you're not going to last long. Like... The game, I guess what I'm saying is the game itself has enough unwieldiness built into it. Right. That adding more unwieldiness by, like, fiddling the little freaking like, circle nub yeah, on the 3DS yeah. or whatever, like, that stuff was always super off-putting to me. So just, like, playing this on a big TV with, like, good graphics and, and a nice controller was, like, a, a huge difference. And then you do this a lot. Yep. Yeah, well, so, I mean, what are you, you know, what, what's your... Role here. I mean, you know, did, did you get the impression that like each character is gonna like play different roles? Is it like, is there kinda like drawing aggro? Is someone trying to tank? Is you I know? Don't know if, I don't know if you can manage aggro and stuff like that in these games. What's up, that guy? It seems like you can definitely like steal aggro. Yeah, I think uh, so. I'm not sure. If, I don't know if it's like as as like tank DPS healer type. Uh, I don't know if the Trinity is present in the game. Sure. Camp. But uh, you definitely have different roles. Like there, there are some classes that can buff the party with, with okay. special effects and stuff like so that. So there, there, like, there is a concept of the uh, the dual the dual axes or whatever. The thing that I'm on Hunter One with is is definitely a just a pure DPS. Like just get in there and and wail away as right. fast as you can. Uh, I don't know what this this weapon is here that Jason is using. It appears to be a big sword. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that checks out. Uh, there's definitely, like, so the monster's wounded now, so he's limping. There's definitely a lot of tells in the way they act. Right, that, that's always of, been the monster yeah, thing, I think, that's, right? That's it's, my understanding, and they, definitely like, they don't seem to expel any of that stuff out. Like, right. some monsters you can do specific things to, like you can cut their tail off halfway through, mm -hmm. or, you know, I, th I think you could probably affect the way they attack you in some ways. Yeah. Like, this guy's trying to, like, sleep and heal right now. That seems like a uh, bad spot to do it. Yeah, that's maybe four, four people just cutting on you. But, um... Ooh. I think this, this guy might be one of the ones whose tail you can cut off. I'm not sure. And that'll re but, result but, in different loot in some cases. Yeah, right? I, you know, I it's think like, that's oh, the I got case. the tail, it's got this, yeah. this type of bone. You know, so they, they never tell you that you can do those things, right. is my understanding. It's yeah. like you wouldn't know until you tried uh, to... Well, I wonder if this, off. like, helper character will occasionally, like, introduce you to the concepts. It's possible. Uh, I'm not sure. It seems like that this is the time... I, I, if Monster Hunter is is ever going to catch on, yeah, like uh, this, in this in this territory, mm -hmm. uh, the same way it has in Japan, or or in a similar way it has in Japan, like you know, it kind of Dark Souls came along and introduced people to more people to this type of combat. Right. People warmed up to this type of combat. People warmed up to higher difficulty in games, and now they're going to put it on a console, yep. which people in this territory would probably appreciate. Uh, and yeah, it it makes sense that they would try to do a little bit of hand holding and try yeah. to line it up. Jason, uh, Jason seems like he's maybe not 100% sold on that stuff, but I definitely like you know quick use items and like in world like objective indicators and yeah stuff like that. Like yes, please. That's yeah, that seems uh, convenient. Um, um, yeah, like if if this doesn't do it, nothing will basically. <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and I guess, like, you know, maybe, maybe this is still a bad game. We don't know. Maybe a bunch of the quests are terrible, yeah, and that's I not going to, so. you know, but but it, assuming all things, all other things being equal, right? this seems like it, it's potentially the moment uh, for the for the franchise. Yeah, they've got, uh, so you can join quests midway now, which is a big deal. Like, okay. in the past, yeah. you had to group up in the quest hub right. for a mission and all accept the quest at the same time. Hey. You killed a monster. Hunter 2, I can't move. Uh, so yeah, you can like jump into your friends' games like mid mission now. Uh, you can fast travel to different camps. You can swap weapons out mid stream. It's like, all one contiguous it's, it's, yeah, zone. It's, one, it's there's not like a bunch of loading, yeah, right? One one big map. So yeah, yeah. Like, the, the fast travel, the swapping weapons out on the fly, like that's all new. Uh, and then you chop up monster. 
I think okay. it's really goofy that you don't get the parts if you don't do that. You don't. Yeah. Because you have like 30 seconds after you kill the monster before they warp you back to the town. So you've got to very quickly get in there and... Yeah. If you don't walk up and hold the button down for most of those 30 seconds, you're not getting any stuff. Weird. It's a weird game. Always was. Yeah. The parts I always enjoyed about it, and we didn't really do any of that here because we didn't really have access to most of it. But and then you get you get you kind of oh okay yeah that's that's fun. You'll note that I destroyed three parts on nice the work, and then I celebrated. Um, yeah, there's a lot of dumb emotes in here. Uh, but like the thing that got me about these games was the loot lust, you know, like sure. the, the carrot on a stick of like, well, I I see all these cool blueprints for armor I could be making, but I need like. Another great jaggy jaw before I can craft that thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then it becomes a matter of like, okay, how do you, you know, working backwards, how do we get more jaggy jaws? Yeah. How do we, you know, yeah. So yeah, like getting all those barriers out of the way to actually enjoying this game and just like exposing it for what it is, I think it's going to go a long way. And then like, <laughs> like you said, maybe at the end of it, we'll all play it and decide we don't actually like Monster Hunter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, it's, it's, that's kind of... I guess, but I have no more excuses is what I'm saying at this point. You know? Right. Like, like if, if, if this one doesn't grab me, it's just not going to grab me. Uh, but I, I like what I, what I saw of it. That seems like a positive, you know, like, yeah. like that, you know, and, and we'll see if they end up, if they end up going too far, you end up with like a, with almost like an, uh, was it like Capcom versus SNK EO situation where it's like, oh, you can do all the specials on the right stick and now people who like fighting games hate it. Uh, but if they... You can change your weapons and armor here. Find a way, yeah, to, to what comes split the difference so that existing players still dig it. Yeah. Uh, sure, I would hope, I would sincerely hope that these, like, quality of life changes aren't enough to put off, like, hardcore Monster Hunter people. Yeah, assuming that those are all, all the, you know, the real changes they're making, right? right? Uh, oh, yeah, you know, they're not, like, yeah. streamlining the actual fights. Right. Look at that cat armor. Yep. Cat's got some pretty good armor. Mm -hmm. Talking to Jason on the podcast yesterday, it sounded like there were definitely like you know monsters that had appeared in previous games mm -hmm. that you would you, that you would want, not necessarily in a hey we're reusing old content yeah. sort of way, but in a these are the classics. These are Monster Hunter fans expect right. this sort of encounter, this sort of monster. R Ragalos so. or something like that. I think I think he's got some footage of it here yeah. in a second. There's yeah some, some famous monsters for sure. Yeah, uh, so that that seems like it you know could. Help in terms yeah. of just like, oh, here are more ways to kind of, you know, remind Monster Hunter fans uh, that this is still that game. I hope he um, goes through some weapon stuff here. Maybe? This is, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I tried a few times to, to actually play Monster Hunter and just always really had... I'm just going to back up real fast. God. But this play movie thing here, uh -huh. I found super useful because you can play and it'll give you a little narrated uh, like tutorial video for mm -hmm. every weapon in the game. Oh, that's and, cool. And they go into a lot of depth about, okay, here's exactly how you use this thing. Here's yeah. the role it plays in a battle uh, and what it's for. That's good. Uh, yeah, just like stuff that like explains, like yes. you know, hey, there's a lot of magic in this game if you understand where to look and, and here are some pointers to show you why people love this thing. Like that, that sounds great. I, I, I still... Personal note, I don't know that, you know... Oh, that, all right. That's neat. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know that I have it in me to get into a Monster Hunter. Yeah, I mean, like, if, like, if, if, if people don't like the way it plays, they just don't like the way it plays. You know, like, there's... Yeah, obviously, I, it's not. It's still not going to be for everybody. But, uh, is a close range weapon designed for but again, it's like you don't have to sit there scratching your head about, like, okay, which weapon should I start with? Right. Because they will just tell you very explicitly, here's what they all do. Mm -hmm. And then you can just do that. So you can cook. Yep. Timing was off. Guess you need to keep drilling your grilling. Drilling, drilling. Nice. That looks so tasty. Huh. I wonder if that's like time to the music or something. Yeah. Uh, th there was a pop up when uh, oh. they first started that said something about the color of the meat. Okay. Being, you know, meaningful. So, so I hope it's time to the music as well. Well done, steak. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, for me, it was always the stuff like the time limits and, and, you know, just as someone who was like a beginning Monster Hunter player, like I always felt like I was not 
getting things done in time. Yeah. Like I was spending a bunch of time running around looking for the monster and, and not finding it fast enough. So even and that's feeling this frantic pace and, yeah. and then and then failing at the end and going like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to do this again. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely uh, still got the time limits. Like the hunt that we did was a twenty five minute yeah. limit, I think. But um, you know, having the the fireflies and stuff that'll yeah. point you in the direction of stuff and 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 help keep you focused. So those things sounds. even yeah those things even help you track the monster. I don't know if we'll see any of it in here, but yeah. like when we when, I don't think he's got he didn't include footage of this. But uh, when we first started the quest, it was the, the, we were in a phase where you were actually hunting, like you were actually trying to track the thing down, and yeah. there were like footprints everywhere and mm -hmm. like crushed grass and stuff, and like basically you were like running up to these footprints and hitting a button, and it was like adding to a hunt meter. Okay. And, like yeah. the more full the meter gets, like the easier it is to find the monster. Basically. Right. Uh, so they they even kind of codified a lot of that stuff. That sounds all right. Yeah, like it, they've just sort of streamlined and like helped point you at all the stuff that you need to know to actually play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is the, this guy, real asshole. Yeah, yeah. Rathalos, that's his name. Mm -hmm. uh, they said this guy is sort of the apex predator of this map. Mm. Like the, there's like a hierarchy in the game of like which monsters eat which monsters. And right, yeah. Like who's stronger than who. Sort of a food chain. Yeah, this guy is kind of the, the big daddy of this area. But yeah, I guess like my, my question about the roles and stuff is like, did this feel like you were working together, or was it everyone just going in uh, and trying to kinda, cut? I was just kind of running around trying to cut the monster. Yeah. Oh. Well. Yep. I like this. Oh. I think that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I, I died two or three times trying to fight this thing. And, and Faint too many times and you'll yeah, it's super rest. easy to get back in the fight. Mm. Uh, like I said, you could just set a waypoint on the monster you're fighting and we'll just follow those fireflies and you'll yeah. be back in it in like 30 seconds or something. Hmm. Yeah, it's like some of the stuff, like these kind of big boss-like encounters and all that just... Monster Hunter always reminded me a little bit, not in gameplay or, or anything, but like just the co-op nature of it reminded me of some of the boss fights in something like Fantasy Star Online. Okay. Where yeah. it's just like, here's this like four-player co-op encounter against this big fucking thing. Yep. Uh, and it felt like a really sizable, crazy conflict. Um, yeah, and this things, game just deals in that nonstop. Yep. That's, that's what's always kind of weirded me out about these games is that there's not much in between that. You know? It's, it's a it's a boss rush, you know. Right, you're you're right. a trophy hunter. You're yes. hunting trophies, not little things. Like the entire game is nothing but boss fights. Yeah. Uh, like you know, some some missions are like the, the enemies are not as difficult. They'll take as long to kill, but like right. There's no such thing as like fodder enemies, or you know. You're Except that like you're still getting stuff from the smaller enemies. You are. Like yeah, meat, you are. Or, you know, yeah. th there's still value yeah. in. But it's not like a you know resource like, gathering. It's not like you know you talk about like a PSO or something where you do like I don't know. A few hours of like little quests, and then you build up to something like this. Exactly, right. Yeah. Like it is nothing but this. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. There's, like a, there's like a fair amount of stuff in the environment to do, like like ways to trap the monster, or like ways to heal yourself by picking certain plants. Right. It's like a bunch of little environmental stuff, but. Seems like it's kind of on you to just discover that. But they don't mess Yeah, with skin the tail mid-fight. Your teammate hates you. teammates uh. hate you. <laughs> Looting mid-fight. Yep. I guess you have to. If you only have 30 seconds after the thing's over. I think that kinda... thing, I just assume that tail would just hang out. Uh, level 2 helmet over here. Yeah, right. Um... But no, if, if after you kill it, you know, you only have 30 seconds, yeah. are you going to loot the tail or, or are you going to yeah. loot the, the main... Part, so maybe it makes sense to in this specific case. Yeah, this is the, that was kind of one of the other things that feels core to Monster Hunter to me, or at least in my limited experience, as something that also was maybe a little off-putting was 
this idea of like mid fight, you're like, okay, I need to bust out a whetstone. I need yeah. to go through this sharpening animation right now mm -hmm. because I'm not doing nearly enough damage. Yeah. But also, I'm in the middle of this fight. That's still here. Uh, that that stuff was always. It's a weird. It's a it's it's a like weird dichotomy. I yeah. guess. Of like the the back and forth of like when do you pull back? How do you pull back? Like that was uh, the to thing. Heal with, or or sharpen or any of that right. stuff. Like that was the thing with those. Uh, the dual axes I was using uh -huh. is that when you go into that demon mode, like I said, it, it whittles, yeah, yeah, it whittles down your weapon durability like super fast, so you're going to have to get back out of the fight and sharpen up yeah. after that. I, I don't know if this is a difference from the previous games, but the whetstones were unlimited in this. Like, they were just infinite. Oh. Huh. So, I swear in the past they were like a commodity that you could run out of. I feel so, like that's correct. Oh, but at the end of the video. That was the end of the video. That was the end of the video. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, that was Monster Hunter. All right, yeah, that uh, it, it, lo it looks very nice. I, yeah. I like you know from like this kind of outsider perspective, like I, it seems like they're making the right moves yeah. in terms of like finding a way to help like maybe some of that Dark Souls audience come in yep. and understand it. A yeah, that, that's better. me, and I think they're. From what I can tell, they're doing like everything they could do to make it friendlier to approach without just like gutting what Monster Hunter is and making it something else. Right. Uh, cool. So, yeah, I think, I think this thing's out next year. Yeah, yeah, it's next year. It's not, yeah. not, a, yeah. not a this year game. Yeah. So it seems like it's shaping up pretty well. Yeah. Yep. Neat. All right. Well, thanks, Brad. Yep.